Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm just leaving work now. I thought let's do something spontaneous and I'm going to go and ask my daughter if she wants to hike up a mountain. But it's pretty hot out here so we'll see how I go. My ride. Let's go. So we're on the road to get up to the mountain. Hopefully there's a lot of those thin looking clouds right up the top there around. When the sun starts to set, it sort of makes them awesome colours. Allow two hours. Let's see how long it takes us today. I'm gonna hike Mount Nunu. So come on an adventure with me. Or is it Gun Gun? How would you pronounce it? Just comment down below. Come on, let's go up this mountain. So I'll get some footage of this great Australian bush. Well, it's still light because we're going to be hiking up there for sunset and hiking back in the dark. It's a steep mountain. I'm already puffing. See you up there. Videos can never show the steepness very well. But trust me, guys, we're already up high and it's very, very steep. We're almost at the halfway point. Sometimes things are hard, but doesn't mean you don't try them. Just give them a go anyway. This mountain is very steep and very hard, but I still give it a go. Lots of great photo opportunities around here. Rocks and caves and fallen trees. Taking a minute out of your hike for a quick photo opportunity is a great way to get your breath back so you just take your time and you can start again. Take only photos and all of your rubbish off the mountain. We want to keep and preserve our Australian bushlands as well as we can and as pristine as we can for the future generations. Just have fun with it. It's your time, your afternoon. Go for it. There's the caves. That's the halfway point, so I'm almost there. Apparently we've got to make it up these stairs before six for the sunset. I feel I was fitter last year. That's the whole point of these videos, so we can stay active, stay fit and stay adventurous. Let's go. This path is also beautifully maintained. Even in the rain and the wet, it's been quite nice. This cave is called Lover's Cave. It doesn't feel very romantic to me, but once I get to the top, I'm sure I'll love it.
time. It's gonna be beautiful. It's already starting to look nice up here. The gaps opened up a little bit in the trees so I can feel a bit of a breeze. But I just want to give a shout out to all the people who live in hot, hot climates and have to do this temperature daily. I'll tell you what the temperature is. But a big shout out to those in Townsville and other hot climates who hike a mountain every day in this heat. Kia likes to push you all the way. And she always says, we're almost there. Just another bend. Oh, whatever. Has anyone ever counted all the stairs? Comment down below if you have. She might just make it up with a bit of sunlight to go. <laughs> oh, I'm almost at the top. You can hear the beautiful birds in the background. Lyre birds. They make a beautiful sound. Up down the tree from there. like I made it before sunset. The last bit's a bit of a rock scramble. Look, here we go. I made it! Woo. So I finished work at four o'clock hiked up this mountain and got here by 6.30 so I made it in under two hours. That's pretty great going because it's pretty steep and it's pretty hard. So unfit people like me can make it to the top. It might take a bit longer but you can do it. So just give it a try. You might want to do it in winter. Just saying. I'm going up there apparently. It's nice and cool up here at least. <laughs> the ocean's out there. Definitely on a peak and the edges are definitely sheer drop edges so be very careful when you're up there. At least there's a cool breeze. While I'm up here checking out the view I may as well tell you all to like and subscribe. You know what to do. You can hear the kookaburras in the background. a popular spot we were lucky this night and there wasn't many people up here but if you want the best spot get there early we will also be walking down in the dark we only got one torch tonight so we'll see how that goes I'm sure you'll see some footage from it Remember the mosquito repellent if you come up for a sunset hike and your torch. So magical. It's such an amazing feeling that you get as you watch the sunset. Embrace it. Feeling the warmth of the sun gently touching your face. It fills you with joy to watch the artist at work as he continuously changes the colours in the sky and freeing you from the stresses of the day. 
brings peace to your heart and aura of love. It is a grade four and it is hard but doable. Definitely give it a try and just go slowly if you like, but you will definitely love it once you're at the top and cool off a little. I was puffed and it was hard, but I loved it. Give it a try guys, woo hoo. We're gonna be walking down fully dark guys. The last of the lights fading out now. I'm running out of light up here so thanks for watching everyone have a great week half we got to go down a little bit skinny it's very dark now let's go that's really adding to the adventure up the mountain trying to walk down in the dark can you turn on your torch for one second Just showing you guys, we're on the actual cliff's edge. I'm trying to walk down in the dark with one torch. This is crazy stuff. I'll let you guys see exactly what I'm seeing as I walk down. So on this part, we're back on all the stairs again, so it's pretty good. Well, activated adventurers, I made it to the top. Hope you can come along on this journey with me.